Hey everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. How you doing? We are going to be canning macaroni and cheese today, okay? And in a previous video, I showed you what kind of pasta I was going to be using. It was cheap pasta that I had found in a bag. I think it was at either Save-A-Lot or Aldi. It was like 25 cents a bag, okay? Um, all I did was I soaked it for about two minutes in hot water. Okay, I didn't cook it. I just soaked it, all right? And it's al dente. I'll give you that, all right? It's al dente. Uh, but if you're going to use elbow or any other kind of uh, pasta, you know, like I say, cook it till it's al dente, okay? Now, the can of cheese that I use, all right, is the number 10 can at Walmart. It's nacho cheese, and it's $10 a can, okay? It's cheap stuff, but it's good stuff. And this is the stuff right here. <laughs> um, I warmed it up on the stove in a pot. I added some water, so it's a lot more easier to stir and to pour into jars okay because i am using the entire can for this project so i'm going to start by using a one-third cup and i'm going to start putting in my ingredients now with the rest of the cheese i am going to be canning the rest of the cheese just in case you know we run out of pasta and you know i just I'm not going to just let the cheese just go to waste. Of course not. Why would I do that? So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of cheese on the bottom. Then we're going to add the pasta. And then we're going to put cheese on top. Okay. Cheese on the bottom. Pasta. However much you want to do. Okay. It doesn't matter. All right. Now, if you're going to water bath can, 30 minutes, four pints, 45 for quarts. If you're going to pressure can, quarts, 10 minutes, pints, five minutes. Okay. Then, of course, you know you're going to hit the bubble right on. Let's get that debubbler. <laughs> That's the one tool that I forgot to get, but that's okay. Because the pasta is sticky, you know? So it, it clumped, I should say. That's what, it's the right term to use, honestly. It clumped, because it did, it clumped. Maybe I should add just a little bit more pasta in there. I'm making these for the grandkids, especially for my Mia. Because all she eats is macaroni and cheese and chicken nuggets. If any of you have little nuggets around, you know what their appetites are. <laughs> All right. And then, of course, you know, you're going to go through your regular routine of cleaning your jars, you know, wiping the rims, and getting your water ready and all that stuff. Matter of fact... I forgot to turn the, the stove on. My brain is somewhere else today, but that's okay. It's allowed to be because we've got a lot going on. This is just another way of 
preserving your food, having a pop top ready pantry, and not just that, having diverse food in your pantry, especially if you have little kids, you know, especially little ones that are picky, 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 like mine are. I actually took two cases of jars out for this project. But it doesn't look like I'm going to be using all bo uh, both cases, but that's cool. I'll just find another project. <laughs> I love it. My husband will come home and he'll be like, oh, dear God, <laughs> what did you do today? <laughs> he'll open up a cabinet and he'll say, that wasn't there yesterday. <laughs> but you love me. <laughs> so why should it matter? <laughs> it got overflow. My husband is extremely thankful that I do what I do. And no, it's not because the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. My husband's eyes are wide open, you know. All right, y'all, I'm going to get the rest of these jars filled, and I'll be right back, okay? All right, I'm just going to finish wiping off the rest of these rims. Make sure your rims are extremely clean. Another paper towel. We are dealing with dairy here, you know. Even though this is canned cheese and it's probably fake cheese and everything else, there is still some sort of milk in there. So, you know, just be careful. And remember, my kitchen, my rules, your kitchen, your rules. Right on? All right. Now, Lids and rings, kids. Lids and rings. Move that out of the way. Ah. All right, now let's get these in the canner.
And after all that, I only ended up with one jar of just cheese. So not bad at all, considering, you know. So, and that was a big jar. Or big can, I should say. So, I'm happy with that. All right. Oh, you're not going to play nice now, huh? You fit in there before. There you go. All right. I'll be back with the finished product. Okay. Now let's take our jars out of the water bath can. Lift away from you. And there we are. Can't really see the pasta all that much. Well, you can, but it's little pasta. But it's there. <laughs> I know the kids will love it. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one, okay? You stay safe, you stay positive, you keep prepping. And as always, fear less. Ciao. <laughs>